Hello everyone, welcome back to our Power BI channel. Here we are covering DAX functions in this series. In the previous tutorials guys, we have completed information DAX function. And now in today's class, we will learn new category of DAX functions which are logical functions. So let's start the class guys and here are the topics which we are going to cover in today's class. So let's start with this if DAX function. So Excel users are well aware about this function and Power BI users also use this function. But as we know guys, this is a separate playlist of DAX function. So we will cover each and everything here in detail. So let's go to the reference page to understand the definition first. Check a condition and returns one value when it's true, otherwise it returns a second value. And in this way guys, we can apply this DAX function. Now go to the Power BI desktop and go to data view. And here guys, we will perform some calculation with the help of calculated column. You guys can also apply same DAX function with measure. But here we will apply calculated column. So let's suppose I want to add one logical condition here. If my sales is greater than 5000, that it's become profit else loss. So in such kind of scenarios guys, we can use this if condition. And it's very easy to use. So let's apply. So I have taken new calculated column from here and I will replace this as if condition. If sales is greater than 5000. And now I will write if function here and look at the parameter guys. So the first parameter is logical test. So I want to apply a logic on sales column. So firstly I will take sales which is from the sales to table greater than or equal to 5000. That means if our sales is greater than or equal to 5000, so it become profit. Else the result would be loss. And close the bracket and hit enter. So here we can see guys, wherever the value is more than 5000, it representing profit. Else loss. So in this way guys, we can use this if condition. It is very easy to use. You guys can apply accordingly. And now we will talk about the next topic of our today's class, which is nested if. So guys, nested if here means whenever we apply multiple condition with using if condition. That is known as nested if. So let's suppose guys, I want to add one more logic here under this same DAX function. So we can apply with this nested if. So I am removing this and after the comma guys, we again need to write if function here. And this time I will apply second logic. Let's suppose if sales is greater than or equal to 3000, it become average. Else poor and hit enter. So here we can see guys, whatever the value after 3000, it becomes average and the rest values are poor. So in this way guys, we can add multiple logics with the help of nested if. I hope guys, now you are clear with the difference of if and nested if. You guys can make practice yourself with if and nested if. And now let's move towards the next topic of our today's class. So the next logical function is AND operator. So let's go to the DAX reference page to understand AND operator. So here we guys can read the definition. It checks whether both arguments are true and returns true if both arguments are true otherwise return false. So guys with the help of AND operator, we can set two logics with IF statement. So let's understand this DAX function with practical. And now I will take one new calculated column from here. So let's say this time my requirement is if my product is milk and country is India, then our result is perfect else imperfect. So let me replace this DAX function as and operator. And now I will apply my logic. First I will write if condition under if condition guys, I will use and function here. 
and here we can see the parameters logical 1 and logical 2 so firstly i want to apply condition on product column so simply i will take product here which is from the sales table equal to and i want to set condition on product milk so i will write milk comma and the second parameter is logical 2 so we want to set the condition on country column so here I will take country equal to and my value is India. So we need to write value in inverted commas and close the bracket. So guys, we have set two logics here. If our product is milk and country is India, then it displays as perfect. Else imperfect and inverted comma close and close the bracket and now hit enter so here we can see guys wherever the product is milk and country is india it displaying perfect so here product is milk and country is india that's why it displaying perfect and here we can also see that here product is milk and country is india that's why it displaying perfect but here in this line guys here product is milk and country is USA and it displaying imperfect because under and operator guys both the condition should be satisfied either of the one condition is dissatisfied that result is false so our false result was imperfect so both the conditions should be satisfied I hope guys now you understand with the and logic operator and now let's move towards the next jack function of our today's class so the next operator is not so before covering not operator guys i will cover this or operator so let's go to the dax reference page and here we can see guys check whether one of the argument is true to return true the function return false if both the arguments are false i know guys you are confusing with this statement so let's go to the power bi desktop to understand the logic so again i will go here and let me copy this DAX function and now I will use new column and let me paste it here so here I will replace this measure with OR operator and instead of AND guys I am using OR and now let's hit enter and see the result so here we can see guys we have set the same condition here if product is milk or country is India it represent perfect so it is showing correct result and now let's go to this cell and here we can see guys here product is milk and country is USA but it is still representing perfect so under this or case guys we can simple say that either of the one condition should be satisfied so here we can see guys their milk is satisfied but the country is different that's why displaying perfect but in AND operator both the condition should be satisfied and here you can also see guys here India country is satisfying but the product is butter still it displaying perfect because one of the condition is satisfying here so I hope guys now you are clear with the difference of AND and OR operator and now let's move towards the next function of our today's class which is NOT operator so let's go to the reference page and here we can read the definition it changes false to true or true to false that means if we have applied not logic here then true become false and false become true and now let's understand this DAX function with practical so go to the power bi desktop and go to data view and again i am taking new column from here so guys this time my requirement is if my country is not china so it display as good else bad and now let's apply this DAX function so firstly I am renaming the column name let's say if not operator and now I will write my DAX function firstly I will write if condition here and under if condition guys I will use not operator so simply I will take country column from here equal to inverted comma begin and I will write China and close the bracket 
so here i have given condition if my country is not china then it display as good else bad and close the bracket and hit enter so here we can see guys wherever our country is china it showing bad else good so it true become false and false become true so it returning opposite result of if condition if i copy this dax function and go here in new calculated column and now if i apply the same logic and this time i am removing this not function here and let me rename this as operator 2 and hit enter so here we can see guys it displaying the opposite result of if operator i hope guys now you are clear with the concept of not operator and now let's move towards the last topic of our today's class which is in operator so let's go to the reference page so here we can see guys the in operator returns true if a row of value exist or contained in a table otherwise it return false and the same thing guys we have also studied in contains row function so with the help of contains row function guys which is used to underneath that means we can use the two values here to calculate so let's go to the power bi desktop and understand this concept with practical so let me delete this column first so guys my requirement is i want to see the total sales of china so we can simply do that calculation with the help of calculate function simply go here in new column and here i will write total sales of china and now i will write my dax function which is calculate so under expression guys we need to write the expression you guys can take sum of total sales or if you have a separate measure guys so you guys can also use this so i have created separate measure of total sales which is sum of sales so i am taking this total sales comma and under filter guys i will use country column here because i want to see the china sales which is country column and equal to inverted comma begin and simply i will write china here and close the bracket and hit enter so let me delete this column first let me also delete this column so here we can see guys with the help of this calculate function we can see only china sales which is 1200 2400 and here you can see guys only china sales are displaying here and now guys this time my requirement is i want to also see a usa sale so let's apply one more filter here in usa sales usa inverted comma close and hit enter so here we can see guys it's getting an error if the true false expression does not specify a column is true false expression use the table filter expression must refer to exactly one column that means we can't filter two country sales here so guys in such kind of scenarios we can use two dax function here either you guys can use contains row to calculate the sales of two country or you guys can use in operator here so both the methods are correct guys so here we will apply in logical operator here so what we need to do we need to add it this after table guys i will use in logical operator and we need to start with this curly bracket and now i will write my values let's suppose china comma and usa and inverted comma close and close the curly bracket and now close the bracket and hit enter so here we can see guys it is displaying the china sales as well as usa sales and if you want to apply more logics so you guys can do that let's suppose this time i also want to see india sales so you can also apply india here and close the bracket so i hope guys now you are clear with the difference of all the dax function which we have studied so far and those who are new to this channel please kindly hit the like and subscribe button and don't forget to press bell icon guys else you will miss an update and if anyone wants to learn free power bi from scratch 
सो हेयर वी हैव यूट्यूब चैनल गाइज विच नेम इज पावर बी आई फुल कोर्स बाय शुभम अंडर दिस फिफ्टी ट्यूटोरियल्स गाइज आई हैव एक्सप्लेन ईच एंड एवरी कॉन्सेप्ट इन डिटेल यू डोंट नीड टू पे एनी थिंग टू एनी वन टू लर्न दिस स्किल सेट बट यू स्टिल रिक्वायर पेड सेशन गाइज सो वी ऑल्सो प्रोवाइड पेड ट्रेनिंग सेशन यू गाइज कैन कनेक्ट मी ऑन लिंक इन एंड वी ऑल्सो हैव दिस टेलीग्राम चैनल गाइज वेयर आई एम की पोस्टिंग लेटेस्ट जॉब्स ओपनिंग ऑफ पावर बी आई एंड यू गाइज कैन ऑल्सो फाइंड सम लेटेस्ट इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर्स so people are keep sharing their questions and answer so you guys can also join this group and thank you so much guys for your more love and support keep learning keep growing thank you so much